Evolution Power Tools got in touch with me and asked me if I would like to review a new miter saw. This is the R210 SMS sliding miter saw. It replaces the Rage 3S. Comes on sale in January 2018. One thing that's really obvious to me is the attention to detail on this saw. The majority of the specifications that you want to know are actually printed on the saw. So it's a 110mm blade with a 25.4mm hole, 1500 watt mortar. So specifications for cutting wood, if it's a cross cut, it's 230mm by 65mm. If it's just a bevel cut, as in 90 degrees across but the blade's beveled over, it will cut 230 by 38 millimetres. A 45 degree mitre cut is 150 millimetres by 65 millimetres. And if you cut a compound mitre at 45 degrees by 45 degrees, it will cut 150 millimetres by 38 millimetres. The first thing that I noticed about this saw when I took it out of the box is just how firm it is on a hard flat surface. And the reason for that are these four rubber feet that have been cleverly designed. They've actually set them into the base at the point where the bolts go through for attaching it to the mitre saw stand or onto a table. So as you can see the bolt will just go straight through there and then it will compress the foot onto whatever you've got the saw mounted on. You might think that this is a minor detail but this is the first mitre saw that I've had that has got rubber feet. For me it is a very very welcome addition. The saw has got Evolution's trademark 210mm multi-purpose blade which will cut wood, steel, aluminium, wood with nails, plastic, loads of different materials. It's very very versatile. The base turns in either direction. It goes from 0 to 50 degrees on either side with indentations at 0 degrees, 15 degrees, 22.5 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees on either side. So there are quite a few design changes on this saw compared to the Ridge 3S. Most noticeable I suppose are the table extensions. Far better aesthetically than the old ones and they're a much better quality as well. I really like them. For me a major advantage is the fact that we've now got a horizontal handle I don't like the pistol grips on mitre saws, I prefer them to be horizontal. For me, another huge improvement is this blade release. No longer are the two buttons on the handle, so you're not going to be pressing the blade release when you want to turn the motor on, or turning the motor on when you want to press the blade release. That's a thing of the past now. To turn the motor on, there's only the one button. That's much, much better. This is like a hard plastic. It's a kind of plastic that they use for all power tools nowadays and it's got a really nice feel to it. This button on the back is for the laser, we'll look at that a little bit later. We've got a cable storage point, that's brilliant. And even a little clip there so that you can clip the plug on and it's not dangling down. Much easier to transport. This is a locking knob for the slide. I like these square knobs, I prefer them to the round ones. Another little thing that shows real attention to detail is the fact that the base is, is designed to encapsulate the bolts to attach it to the mitre saw brackets. And that just means when you're attaching the saw to the mitre stand, you only need a socket, you don't need a spanner and a socket. Another addition is this ruler on the right hand side of the fence. Another change is a hold down clamp. The base of that has been redesigned so it will actually clamp onto round objects like pipe or bar. The saw is also fitted with a depth stop, but if you want to set the depth, you just push that down and then adjust this to set the depth. Just lock it in place. So that will allow you to cut channels in wood easily. Handy for shelving units and things like that. The majority of maintenance tasks that you carry out on the saw can be done with this one tool that's actually slotted into the base so you won't lose it. It's got a dust extraction point at the back, it doesn't come with a bag, there is a model, I think it's the R210 SMS Plus that comes with a cloth bag to go on the back there, but I'll just be connecting my shop back to that. Another improvement that I really like about this saw are the scales. That's a vast improvement, that scale, and you'll notice there that we've got an angle of 33.9 degrees on there, 
and also if you look at the scale on the base we've got 31.6 degrees so it's easy for people that are cutting corners that type of thing to set the saw with very little difficulty another point to note is this little pin here which slides in and out if you push that in and tilt and tilt the saw over it sets the bevel angle to 33.9 as well as having it marked on the scale there there's also a physical stop that makes it easy for you to set it up for cutting cornices or curving or anything like that for me another major improvement is this bevel locking handle this is t-shaped and it is just so much easier to use much much better the hold down clamp can be mounted either side of the blade the left hand side of the fence has got a little knob there that you undo so you can slide this out the way and clamp it again if you're cutting bevels for me another major improvement is the way that we adjust the saw to make sure it's cutting accurately the new system which is far simpler is just a set screw there and a stop so when you actually tilt the blade over to 45 degrees if it's not set right all you've got to do is to slacken this nut off and adjust this stop until you get 45 degrees that's way simpler and it's the same on this side for the 90 degree stop the other adjustment for adjusting the fence so that it's 90 degrees to the blade is the same as the old one where we've got elongated slots there on either side I think the only difference is that this one's got two slots on the right hand side as you're looking at the saw and that is just going to make setting up this saw so simple as well as being able to lock the slide in position you can also lock the heading position for transportation which makes that a bit easier as well as the improvements in the design of the saw it is a much nicer looking saw everything feels really solid and there is absolutely no plate on this blade at all absolutely no plate, it's rock solid which is exactly what you need for cutting accurate mitres so my first impressions without cutting anything with it is that it's a very very nice saw very very solid very well made lots of attention to detail so now I'm going to make sure that the saw is set up properly it's been assembled out of the box and I'm just going to make sure that it's set up to cut accurately so for that you need a set square if you don't want to spend the money on a normal set square then buy one of these sets and they're only two or three quid something like that you can get them from all over the place push the set square against the fence lift the guard up there should be no gap at all along the blade and that is absolutely perfect so that's at 90 degrees to the fence if you find that it's not at 90 degrees to the fence slacken off these three grub screws and then the fence can be tilted backwards or forwards the next check is to make sure that the blade is perpendicular or at 90 degrees to the table make sure that it's tilted all the way back to the to the stop on the bevel and lock it lift the blade slightly and slide the set square along till it touches the blade make sure that it's not against one of the carbide teeth because that will put it out slightly and then look along the blade to see whether there's a gap between the blade and the saw I don't know whether you can see that but there is a slight gap at the top of the set square so that needs adjusting slightly because the gap on the set square was at the top of the blade the blade wants to go this way towards the camera and to do that you're going to need a 10 millimeter spanner and a 5 millimeter allen key so the first thing to do is to slacken off the lock at the back that's just I just love that handle push it over until it stops and this is what we're going to be adjusting 10 millimeter spanner and slacken off the lock nut we need to lift up the scrub screw a bit because it pushes against this stop so I'm going to give that half a turn and then we'll just put the saw back before we tighten anything up yeah that's perfect just that half a turn was all it needed so push this back down again place the allen key in the grub screw and hold it in position and then tighten up the lock nut so the last check that we've got to make now is that this bevel angle is at 45 degrees when it's up against the stop so make sure you've slid this fence out the way because that will get in the way and then what I like to do is to lock the blade in position 
and this is where my little helix set comes in useful because it will get in there up against the blade but that looks perfect at 45 degrees so you can see just how easy it is to set one of these saws up so we'll start off with the old classic wood with nails Straight through, no issues. 89.8, perfect. I'm going to take a slice off this just so that we can check the vertical angle as well. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that. So the bevel cut, we need to pull this back out of the way, tilt it over. Now let's try the bevel, I've already done this once but I've never filmed it so we'll do it again. That's one cut, we'll do the next one, there we go. Eighty nine point nine, don't get any better than that. This is a substantial piece of fifty mil mild steel box section. And as is usual with a multi-purpose blade, that's cool to the touch. It's only mildly warm, easy to work with. And just look at that for a cut. Brilliant. A piece of uni strut for any electricians that are watching. For any carpet fitters out there, this is a piece of aluminium carpet trim. Shelving brackets for shop fitters. Perfect cut. 22 mil copper pipe. Way quicker than using a pipe cutter. So as well as a multi-purpose blade, Evolution provide other blades for this machine, one of which is a diamond blade. It's designed to cut brick and stone, tiles and ceramics. So we'll just give that a go. Right, so let's start off with a brick. Just look at that. A coping stone is something that you might need to cut very accurately and neatly if you're trying to do a really nice job on a wall. Beautiful job. The R210 SMS sliding miter saw made by Evolution. Now in my opinion Evolution certainly are living up to their name. This saw is a vast improvement on the old Rage 3S which is a saw that it's replacing. 
There are quite a lot of significant changes and every one of them makes it a better machine. It's a really solid machine, it cuts accurate mitres and versatile is a word that I use over and over again when I'm reviewing machines made by Evolution because versatility is something that makes a tool stand out from the crowd and this saw certainly does that. And again, Evolution have done what they always do, produce a good quality tool at a good price. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. I think it's a smashing saw and I'm glad to have it in my workshop. I hope you've enjoyed the review and thank you for watching.